the hare's ear cap it's really quite a simple fly um, there's not much to it at all all we've done really is taken the, the chartreuse body that you commonly see and replaced it with the hare's ear you've also got that bright trigger of the you've got the bright trigger of the the orange hotspot head there as well which really makes it stand out it's just a little trigger but you get a little bit of bulk of that hare's ear um, just a nice profile it's less an obtrusive, less in your face, I would say. This makes it a better fishing fly. I would more or less guarantee if you fished a cat all year, um, you'd probably catch more than you would with a blob, despite how good a blob can be. This is such a good fly to fish, whether it be on the point or the top dropper, and one that's going to work the whole year through, so let's go ahead and tie it. So start off with a wet fly hook in the vise, it's a size 10. Most of my mini lures are size 10 or size 12. And I use a light thread to start with. <clears throat> this is light car hill. You can use anything, I just prefer using a light thread under the body. I managed to get that tangled in my bobbin holder there. So just create a body. You buy the thread to tie with. Then we want to come in with some white marabou. It's a small pinch, thumb and forefinger, and twist it to bind the fibres together. You can snip the end off, make it nice and even, or you can touch it and then snip the end. Just prefer it this way. So wind down to a point opposite the barb of the hook. <coughs> And I've got this, um, it's a bright gold wire, medium wire. Catch it on my side of the hook shank and secure it in place. This is our mix from um, Andrew Ellis at Scruffy Dubbin. It's just a really good mix that he does for me. I use it for a lot of river patterns, but... Also, on my hair's ear stuff, I use this instead of hair's ear nowadays, unless I'm looking for really, really spiky. Um, this stuff pulls out great with Velcro, so I really like it. So I've got a tapered rope there. Starting thin, working up a bit thicker. You just make sure you're covering, really well covering all the marabou. So you've got to pull these fibres out. Give yourself a little space at the thorax. I like to stick a work finishing just in case it falls off the end of the hook. Then up with your, your wire. One turn, two turns, three. Evenly spaced. Four, five. Finishing up at six. Lock that in place. <coughs> Take your wire to a straight angle of fire the hook. Secure it and just twizzle off. Gain a whip finish. And then I just come in and pull some of the fibres out. I always find Velcro to be the best for this. As you can see, you get a really nice profile with this stuff. Again, a little pinch more marabou. Come in four fingers width. Spin the fibres to bind them. And then for this one, I'll catch it in before I sniff off because it's at the eye of the hook. So pinch and loop, make sure it's tight and bind it down. Make sure it cloaks the back of the fly, not one side or the other, so it's evenly split, spread. That's a really good point to note. And then cut this at 45 degrees. Tidy up a couple of thread wraps. <clears throat> and then we've got this goldy, creamy goldy hens 47. I love it, I use it quite a lot on the river patterns and it works well and dries as well. 
Midas in particular. So just dub a, a little rope in there, just a, a little bit behind the head of the fly. It covers up the bump where the Mario is and it adds a little bit to the a little bit of glister to the wings. You see it's a nice thin rope. Just a couple of quick finish here and we'll stroke it back with the velcro. And you can see I've managed to pull most of that off the thread. It's not been a tight enough rope. I kind of need to tie on again and get a little bit more dubbing on there. But because it's that light thread, I can get away with it. So a little bit more dubbing, tighter rope this time. Tight, tight, tight. Better. Just quick finish up. Another bit of velcro, this time not pulling everything out because it's a tighter rope. There you go, that looks good. So just come in with your thumb and forefinger because it's international rules, pinch it off, you get a nice shape to the fly, then you get a straight edge as you would with scissors. There you go, it's really looking the part now. And the finishing touch, a blue orange and a head. So I happens you to hold on to the dress here. Back in again. We end up catching that tag end. And we quick finish. Creating a nice hot spot to the fly. Just trim your thread either side. And just to finish the fly, a little bit of varnish, durability. As you can see, it's a it's a handsome looking mini lure. Um, really works. I like it at the back end. Come the the colder months on the reservoirs. It's also very good in small waters. Replace that head, um, an orange bead. You get that duck and diving motion. There you go. Here's your cap. A great fly you can fish all year round. Probably got to catch you more than a blub will. I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Little hot spot there. Please subscribe to my channel.